Hello guys, it's Siva, and on Thursday, May 28th, I got to go to a hands-on press event at Blizzard for Heroes of the Storm, and one of the things that I got to do while I was there was I got to play their new hero, which is the Butcher. This is the first time that anyone has played him outside of Blizzard employees, and I was really excited to get the opportunity, and I thought I would tell you a little bit about him. The reason I waited this long is because we were under an NDA and the embargo on that information just lifted. So here it is for you. Uh, the Butcher is a melee assassin. His trait allows him to pick up blood that drops from heroes and minions that are killed and they increase his damage. He gets 3% damage for every hero's blood that he picks up and 1% damage for every minion's blood that he picks up. That blood caps at 25% damage buff, 25 stacks. And it is lost upon death, but I mean, that's crazy, crazy buff. Also, you can talent in, so the blood will also heal you. His base abilities are he has a slowing attack and a charge stun. And he also has an ability where he can mark an enemy. And every time he damages that enemy, it heals him. <laughs> His heroic abilities are really cool. Um, the first one is called Lamb to the Slaughter, and what it does is it chains up your enemy to like a pole, like you, they were a dog, and they can't go outside the chain's radius. In fact, if you try, it'll like yank you back to the center. And the other one is Furnace Blast, which um, is a circle around you, and after about three seconds, fire pops up from the ground and damages anyone that's in that circle. And so, you know, AOE ability, you can get as many heroes in there as you want. And the cool thing is that you can actually cast it while moving. So you could cast it and then like charge in and hit a bunch of people, which is really cool. So we played some games with him. In fact, we played them on the new Diablo map. And if you're interested in seeing that, there should be a link down in the description that you can click. He was really, really strong. He's kind of squishy, but if you know how to play him and you know when to go in and when to get out, just amazing damage that he could put out there. Some people were saying... Um, as we played him, that he was definitely one of those assassins that is stronger on particular maps more than others. He's not quite like Jaina was the example they used where she's really, really useful and really good on like any map. And he's a little more niche. And they tried to take influences. You can see this from Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, although he looks very much like the Diablo 3 incarnation of the Butcher. People were always talking. They were wondering, how are we going to differentiate between Stitches and the Butcher, because a lot of people thought, you know, the Butcher should be a skin for Stitches. Well, I can tell you right now, having seen him, having played him, they're very, very different heroes. They play very different. Obviously, one is Assassin, one is a warrior, but also, like, the hook. He doesn't have the hook. He has his other things. Um, but anyway, I hope you check him out. He should be on the PTR, which they will be implementing for heroes soon. Um, he'll be in the PTR on June 23rd, and they hope to have him live in the game on June 30th. But of course, we'll see depending on PTR testing. Butcher was pretty much done. His skin looked complete. All the tints were there. His master skin was done. And he also had a cosmetic skin that you could purchase that was already available. It was the Iron Skin Butcher. And he had some sort of metal face mask and a little bit of armor on him. It looked pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much the skin is going to be when it comes out, but he will be, like most heroes, $10 or 15,000 gold. That's pretty much a standard for new heroes the first two weeks that they're out before it's reduced. Hope you enjoyed this look at him, and I hope you have fun playing him when he comes out.